The BJP today announced the chief uh, minister of Madhya Pradesh, and it was a name that no one really expected. Now, of course, people can say what they want. Ki hame to pehle se hi pata ji. The fact is that nobody really thought that Mohan Yadav would be the next chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. This is an ABVP leader turned three-time MLA. Dr. Mohan Yadav, the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, the appointment of Mohan Yadav ends the two-decade-long Shivraj Singh Chauhan era in the heartland of India. Palumi Saha and Himinder Sharma with our lead story tonight from Bhopal. A big surprise and a generational shift in Madhya Pradesh. Dr. Mohan Yadav is the new Chief Minister. The announcement came after the crucial legislative party meeting at the BJP headquarters in Bhopal. I've got, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got a piece of breaking news. Mohan Yadav, Mohan Yadav is going to be the next chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. That's the news that we are getting from inside. 58 years old Mohan Yadav is three-time MLA from Ujjain South. He started as a student leader at Madhav Science College and was elected as MLA for the first time in 2013. He served as higher education minister in the previous Shivrat Singh Chauhan government. The Vikas ka karwa badaya mani Mukhi Mantri Shivrat Singh Ji Chauhan ne aur Yashashi Pradhan Mantri ke netrat me nishit roop se hum isko aage badayenge ek bar phir me humare liye joh slogan tha MP ke man me Modi aur मोदी के मन में एमपी इस स्लोगन के आधार पर निश्चित रूप से उनके विकास के सपने को लेकर आगे चलेंगे। The crowning of Dr. Mohan Yadav marks the end of nearly two-decade reign of Shivrat Singh Chauhan in the state. Soon after Yadav's name was announced, Chauhan headed to Raj Bhavan to resign. He also posted on X, congratulating his colleague and successor. प्रदेश की जो एक टीम होती है और विधायक दल के जो प्रमुख लोग होते हैं वो सब बैठ करके विचार करते हैं एक एक नाम पर विचार करते हैं प्रदेश के जो वर्तमान मुख्यमंत्री हैं उन्होंने स्वयं इच्छा प्रकट की कि इस नाम का प्रस्तावना मैं करूंगा उन्होंने प्रस्तावना की और बाकी जो प्रमुख नौ दस लोग हैं उन्होंने उसका समर्थन किया अनुमोदन किया और उसके बाद पूरे विधायक दल ने उसका समर्थन किया After the shock announcement, celebrations erupted at Dr. Mohan Yadav's home in Ujjain. उनकी मेहनत फल लाई है महाकाल बाबा का आशीर्वाद मिला है जो वो मुख्यमंत्री बने हैं और सेवा के लिए तैयार है बहुत खुशी का माहौल है खुशी का कोई ठिकाना ही नहीं है कुछ बता ही नहीं सकते कितनी खुशी हुई है मोहन यादव विल हैव टू डेप्यूटीज जगदीश देवड़ा एंड राजेंद्र शुक्ला नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर हु वॉज एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर एट द सेंटर विल नाउ बी एम पी असेंबली स्पीकर The anointment of Dr. Mohan Yadav as Chief Minister came as a shock. But with an OBC candidate as Chief Minister, Jagdish Deura, an SC, and Rajendra Shukla, a Brahmin, as Deputy Chief Ministers, and Narendra Singh Tomar, a Thakur, as the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, the BJP seems to have got its caste arithmetic right in Madhya Pradesh. So what's in store for Rajasthan next? Will the BJP spring a surprise there too? With him in the Sharma in Bhopal, Palami Saha for India Today. Will the choice of Mohan Yadav for Chief Minister in Madhya Pradesh prove to be a strategic masterstroke because you're uh, bringing in a new generation of leadership or could this potentially backfire as you brought in somebody who's not a pan Madhya Pradesh leader who is just the higher education minister and now suddenly finds himself having to fill the big shoes of Shivrat Singh Chauhan. Remember, in Chhattisgarh, Vishnu Diosai, the tribal leader, was picked to be chief minister. So this is clearly part of a larger plan, uh, mas masterminded by Messrs. Modi and Shah in trying to unleash a new generation of leadership. Uh, Rajdeep Sardesai joins me in the studio. We've got Himendar Sharma joining us. He tracks uh, Bhopal. For us, uh, I'll have political perspective from Sanju Verma, who's smiling even before we got started. We got Shama Muhammad, Sanju, welcome. Sanjay Jha joins us, and Ratan Sharda, who's a RSS aligned thinker. Uh, Rajdeep, what's the message for national audiences? The likes of Sai in Chhattisgarh, we don't know who in Rajasthan, but Mohan Yadav in Madhya Pradesh. Do you think this is smart tactical thinking? Because he's got no anti incumbency, he comes in with a clean state. So it's almost like starting from scratch for the Madhya for the BJP in Madhya Pradesh. You know, Rahul, it fits in with a pattern. A pattern that the BJP under 
Mrs. Modi and Shah have shown that change is the only constant. Constantly effect changes so that you are able to create new energies. No one gets fossilized. Even in Gujarat, you saw Anandi Ben Patel, Vijay Rupani, and eventually you ended up with Bhupendra Patel. It didn't work in Gujarat. You see, it has, it's, that's, I was coming to that. It's worked in some states. You could argue it certainly worked in Uttar Pradesh with Yogi Adityanath. It didn't work in neighboring Uttar Pradesh. But they didn't have anybody in UP before him. It's not like they had a chief minister who was sitting. Shivrat Singh Chauhan is a very tall OBC heartland leader, took the BJP to 163 seats and he's been shown the door. The fact is, Rahul, he may be a tall leader of Madhya Pradesh, but as we saw in the campaign and suddenly with the results, the BJP central leadership believes it was Modi ki guarantee. It wasn't Shivraj Singh Chauhan that people were voting for. According to the way the BJP sees it, in the electoral calculus, they're voting for Narendra Modi. So once you have this no, but there's no way of personality sure. cut, Rahul, then who you uh, bring in as chief minister simply doesn't seem to matter, provided you get your social engineering right. What I think they've done, and you'd see this as a pattern across the states, is try and get their social engineering right. So you've got an OBC Yadav, you've got uh, someone who comes from the Malwa region, you've got someone who's close to the Sang Parivar, and thereby you're ensuring at least within the change some element of continuity with social engineering. So I think there's a plan, there's a method in this. This is not some random name that's picked out of no, the but hat. Ultimately, when, you can make someone captain, the guy needs to go out and bat under pressure. Otherwise, no. he could just end up being a non-performing chief minister. 